Hello and wel welcome back. This is Jose Torres and today we are going to create a hello world using PhoneGap. Uh, it is something important and it is that we need some additional things to run and debug PhoneGap in a web browser. So we are going to start with the, uh, with the browser. Basically we need this extension uh, called Ripple. If you don't have it installed, please go for that. I am going to use Google Chrome for this exercise. So uh, download Google Chrome, install it, and next look for Ripple extension. Uh, you could just Google it, Google Ripple emulator, and go to this URL and install it. If you have some trouble finding it, the URL is in the description of this video, so look for that. I'm going to create me, my hello world just here in my desktop. So let's open the terminal, go to spotlight, type terminal, and open it. I'm going to move to the desktop, so I need to type cd desktop. And now I'm going to execute phone gap, create, and my project name. I'm going to call it hello world and hit enter. You can see how I have a new folder in my desktop called hello world. Open it. Don't worry about all these folders. Today we are going to put all our attention in the WW folder. Here is where we have all the project's resources like CSS, HTML, images, everything. Uh, open the index HTML and let's see the first trouble that we have. You can see that we get a uh, connecting to device message, but this is all we are going to have at this point basically because we are missing a file which is added into our project until we create a specific platform for that. Remember, I am using Google Chrome. If I right click and do inspect element, I'm going to see, be able to see here this message. Basically, it is, it is telling us that the Cordova.js file doesn't exist. And I can confirm that here is not that file. So Ripple is going to help us with this. Ripple uh, doesn't work in with local files. I mean, you can see that if I display the Ripple menu and I try to enable, it, it's, it is not working. It is because we need an HTTP server to make it work. If you are working with Mac, you already have an HTTP in your system installed, so you don't need anything additional. If you are using Linux or Windows, well, I, am, I don't know if they have something or not. If they don't, you need to install some HTTP server for that platforms. In this case, we are working with Mac, so go back to the terminal and let's navigate to the www folder. Uh, remember, we are in the hello world uh, folder right now. Oh, sorry, we are in the desktop right now. So I'm going to move to the hello world folder. So CD, hello world, hit enter. And we need to move also to the www folder. CD, www, hit enter again. And LS to see where we are or the files that are around us in this moment. So you can see that we are uh, in the resources folder now. To start the, the HTTP server, let's use Python space dash M space simple HTTP server space and we need to provide a, a port. In this case, we are going to, to use 8000 and hit enter. We receive this message that uh, the local HTTP is running 
so I could come here and change the address file for localhost 8000 and we receive exactly the same thing now that we are using the the HTTP server we could back uh, go back to ripple and hit enable now ripple extension is working still having only the connecting to device message but we could fix it coming to platforms section and selecting Apache Cordova phone app click on here and hit the change platform and you can see that the message has have changed to a device is ready so what is happening on here so let's go to 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 the index file and let's start uh, checking some things i'm going to use text wrangler as text editor you can use any other that you feel comfortable with so i just open the index and i also opening the index.js which is inside the js folder I'm going to open both of them. First, let's check. Basically, here is where we have the messages connecting to device, uh, which is the one that we had before, you know, just displaying the connecting to device once we configured the Ripple extension. So we had um, displayed the device is ready message let's check what is happening at at the gs side i'm going to remove all the, all these um comments just to have it a little clear on here and uh, you can see that we are having a uh, this device ready listener at to the document so basically it, it is saying okay when the device ready message is sent so execute the function on device ready and we have here the on device ready method and basically what is happening on here is saying okay let's go uh, select this uh, everything with this class called listening select also what has added this cloud receive it and finally is saying okay the listening element is going to display nothing and the received element is going to have a display block so this is hiding the the waiting for device message and displaying the device is ready message also we could be able to add something additional here something like an alert hello save it and refresh and you can see that our code is working once the device is ready in case that you, i'm not sure about how how this um is pre-configured in case you have not the apache cordoba phone gap in your in your list go to emulate phone gap page and uh, just copy the url and paste it on there this just in case you don't have it if you already have it so you don't need to do that and uh, that's it and um, the next time we are going to create a very simple application using phone app. we are going to create a to-do list that is capable to save information locally retrieve that information and update it so see you soon